Hey guys, today I am going to be doing a first impressions on the new released Norvina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This palette is so pretty. I ordered it the day it came out and it came so quick. I was so surprised at how quick it came. I have had it for a couple days now and this is my first time taking it out of the box. So it's like all their other palettes, it has the suede material, which I love, it gets super dirty. The Prism one, you obviously don't have to worry about that because it's black, but as far as the lighter ones, they will get dirty, but I just, I love this packaging. And then you open it up, just like their normal palettes, you get the same amount of shades, the mirror, and the brush. I actually love the brushes that come with this with their palettes. Ooh, this feels really nice. And the fluffy end kind of feels a little a little stiff, so we'll have to see how it performs. The best brush so far, in my opinion, from their palettes was the Modern Renaissance brush. So here are all the shades. They're so pretty. I have, kind of have a look in mind. Of course, I'm going to use this shade. Everyone has been wanting to use this shade. And this shade looked a little brighter on photos to me, but I think I'm still going to try that shade. And then I don't know which shimmer shade we're going to use. That one was kind of powdery. I'm going to swatch all of these for you guys. Don't worry. This one kind of looks like it was pressed into the pan a little weird. What shade is that? Rose gold. So we have to prime our eyes and all that jazz. And then we're going to get right into this. Okay, so that first shade base that I just used to set the eye has a lot of fallout. I'm not sure if you can see, but that has a lot of fallout. Fallout doesn't really bother me though. It's all on how the shadows perform on the eyes. So if there's a little fallout in the palette, it doesn't really bother me. I know it might bother some people, but personally it doesn't bother me. So the first shade I'm gonna go down with here is Eccentric right here, and I'm just, going to take the brush that it came with and see how it performs and I'm just going to put a dusting of this in my crease okay that is pigmented and this brush is not really blending as well so I'm going to go into this brush So I feel like some of the shadow is kind of just not really blending that well right there in the middle. It's looking super harsh. Let's try it with this brush here. Okay, that just blended a lot better with this brush and not the Anastasia brush. So now I have to like sit here and blend my life away. Now this side is going to need a little more color. Okay. You guys can see the difference. The left side is still looking a little harsh from the initial application with the Anastasia brush which I guess I shouldn't have used it since it didn't feel up to par, but I figured we would try it. We're gonna move on and see what else we can do. So I'm thinking of taking, thinking of taking the shade Passion on the end there. Now I'm going in with this e.l.f. blending brush. I really like this brush for a dollar. And I'm going in with that sh oh my gosh, I'm going in with that shade Passion over here and I'm picking off a lot of the excess just because I don't know what the shades are going to look like. So I want to make sure that I go in with a light hand with the shades first and then we'll go in 
with more layers if needed. So I'm kind of just blending and stamping this color on because I am going to take that first shade and blend this out. Now I'm going back in with that first fluffy brush and we're going to start blending lightly. Okay, I don't really know how I feel about this shade. It's not blending out the best, but it's not horrible. It's darker than I thought it was going to be, so the plan that I have in my head is probably not going to work out. I'm going to go back into that eccentric shade, and I'm just taking a little bit and going to blend this out. Alright, that kind of made it worse, but we have to make it even. I thought that these shades were going to look really pretty together, these two, but they're kind of just looking muddy. I don't know what the heck is going on. Alright, not loving it, not loving it, but it is what it is. Just trying to figure out what to do to make this better. I'm going in with the shade Summer right here. The shade swatched really nice. So we're just going to put this all over the lid. Okay, this could save the day, everyone. Shade is really, really pretty. I think we're saving the day here. Now I'm going to try it with a brush on the other side and just see which performs better, our finger or a brush. We'll use the side of the brush that it came with and test that on the eye. It's definitely going onto the eye. It's not going on as pigmented as when I used my finger. We're going to go back in with the finger. So there is some fallout with this shimmer shade. That is why I have no face makeup on because I wasn't sure well what kind of look I was going to do and then I wasn't sure if there would be fallout on the face. You know what I kind of want to do? I don't know if this is going to mess it up. All right, I'm going to take the shade Celestial. Is that what it is? Yeah, Celestial right here. And I'm going to put that kind of just like a little bit on the inner corner there. I don't even know how that's going to look, but we're testing the palette. So I kind of just want a tiny bit there. I'm not going to be able to see how this shadow really is on top of another because I'm not giving it its spotlight. But I just want to like, I thought that would look cute it there so you can't really see. I might have to spray it. Oh, there we go. The camera just stopped recording. I didn't realize it. I have no idea where we left off. So I just took the purple shimmer shade Celestial and I'm just adding it a little bit in the corner and on to the inner lid just to test out another shade in the palette. This shade I'm sure looks so beautiful on its own. So it's not really getting its spotlight right now, but it is showing up with a couple layers. I think I am going to spray it with some Fix Plus too, because I really want it to pop. Okay, so it does make it pop just a tiny bit more. Here is the eye that I just put Fix Plus on. If I was using this shade on its own, I definitely don't think it would need Fix Plus. I'm just using it right now to make it pop while on top of this gold shimmer. Personally, I love if I can use Fix Plus on a shade to brighten it up, but I also think that you shouldn't have to use Fix Plus on a shade to make it shimmer the way it's supposed to. Here is how it's looking. Okay, so the first two shades, I think the eccentric 
shade, that first kind of orangey brown shade blended okay. The passion shade, I feel like didn't blend that well. Those two shades together when I tried to blend them kind of looked a little muddy. So I'm definitely going to do some more looks with this palette to see what we can come up with and how I can apply it differently to see if it performs differently as well. So I'm going to do the rest of the face and I'll be right back. We'll finish up the lower lashes, the brow highlight, the inner corner highlight, and I'll do some swatches of the palette. Okay guys, so the rest of the face is done. The eyes are looking a little, I don't know, I'm just not, I'm loving the purple and the gold on the inner corner, but I'm just not loving what's going on in the crease, but it's okay. We're going to try out this palette a few more times. I am going to take that shade Eccentric, like two dabs in it, and just kind of go into the crease and see if that can help. Kind of. Kind of. And the same thing for this eye. So I actually think that just made the eyes look a tiny bit better by working on that eccentric color a little more. And I think I'm going to do the shade Soul on the lower lash line, which I have seen quite a few times, but that is just the shade that I'm feeling on the lower lash line right now. So I'm taking this crease brush, I have no idea where it's from, and this shade has a tiny bit of fallout, if you guys can see. Once again, no big deal. Alrighty, here's how that is looking. I actually do like the way that looks. I'm gonna pull that shade Celestial down just a tiny bit. I'm kind of just bringing that Celestial shade to make it pop out a little more. And then we're gonna add something over it. So I'm gonna go in with that shade Dreamer now and kind of just pop that right there on the inner corner. Ooh, that looks pretty. So pretty, that inner corner. Ooh, I love it. Okay guys, here is the final look using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. Like I said, I'm going to do some more looks with it to see how all the shades performed. The shimmer shades that I used performed really well. The under eye shade I liked. That darker shade Passion wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't horrible. I did like Eccentric. I thought that looks nice. And I'm definitely going to try out more of the shades. But for now, I need to swatch them. Okay, here is the top row. Dreamer, Summer, Wild Child, Rose Gold, Celestial, Dazzling, and Drama. These are really nice shimmers. All right, here are the matte shades in the bottom row. Base, Soul, just kidding, I accidentally went out of order. We have Base, Incense, Soul, Love, Volatile, Eccentric, and Passion. All right, guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this little first impressions tutorial type of deal. I'm going to be testing out some more looks with this palette, so stay tuned for that. Also, do not forget to subscribe down below before you leave. I will always show love back. That's what this community is about, is supporting each other. If you want to subscribe, just let me know. Comment below and I will definitely come subscribe to your channel and check your channel out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will link all my other social media down below. I am most active on Instagram. I will link that down below as well as my last video. And I'll see everyone next time. Thank you so much for watching.